But to other news now, and at least 28 people have been killed and 113 others hurt after a violent stabbing attack on commuters at a railway station in China. It's reported to have been organised as a premeditated assault. The sky's Harriet Hadfield joins us now in the studio. And Harriet reports that they were all dressed in black and it seemed to be quite a coordinated type of attack. Yeah, we've been getting reports from witnesses who've taken to the social networking site in China. It's called Weibo. Um, they've said, as you said, they were wearing black, uh, brandishing uh, knives. The identities of the people have not been confirmed yet, although we know that five of them were shot dead by police. And um, we've had some first pictures in now. They've come from the uh, Xinhua News Agency. Uh, you can see in the stills here um, the chaos, really, that happened. And um, also what it looked like on the ground there after it happened and so many people involved in this uh, emergency workers and police uh, quick to rush to the scene is there any indication why this has happened in this particular area which is what down in the southwest of uh, china no absolutely no indication why um, it's not a massive city by chinese standards three million people uh, which isn't huge um, the chinese government uh, have, have already called them terrorists and they're quite quick to blame islamic militants but they come from a uh, xinjiang province yes, which is thousands of miles away. two and a half yeah. uh, thousand miles away it's really shocked people and they've taken to the internet and they're calling for a transparent investigation into this but it's really bad timing for the chinese government yeah. because they've got their congress opening next week Harriet, thank you very much indeed for that. One of Ireland's most notorious criminals, a man 